Hello students, I'm Dr. Arpita De. A very warm welcome to my biology classes. Today we will learn about a method that will help us in estimating the size of a population. This method is known as mark release recapture method. The estimation of population size using this method is also known as Lincoln Index. It is easy to study a population or count the number of individuals in it when the organisms are large and stationary. For study of populations of smaller and mobile organisms, it is not always possible to count the exact number of individuals in the population. Mark release recapture method is used to estimate populations that are made up of smaller mobile individuals. So we will learn about a new technique for estimating the size of populations of smaller mobile organisms. A group of individuals are captured from the population and marked in such a way so that they can be recognized when released back into the population. So here we are considering the population of rats or mice. These animals are comparatively smaller and they are mobile. They will not rest in one place. So a group of animals are captured and marked. The marking should be such that they can be recognized when released back into the population. So the number of animals caught and marked will be denoted by M. Here you can count the number of rats. M is the number of marked animals. That is the number of caught animals caught and marked. M is equal to 12 over here. The marked organisms are released back into the population and allowed enough time to mix with the unmarked organisms. So these marked individuals will be released back into the population and will be given ample time to mix with the entire population. Proportion of marked to unmarked individuals will be used to calculate the proportions of individuals in the whole population. A group of individuals are recaptured from the population. Number of individuals in the recaptured group is more than that in the initial captured group of animals. So initially, here in this example, M was 12. So 12 animals were captured initially and marked. The number of individuals in the recaptured group is 12. It is denoted by C over here. In this group of 14 individuals, we can see two individuals are marked. So recaptured animals denoted by R is equal to 2 over here. Some of the marked animals are recaptured in the new group. So proportion of marked animals in the captured animals is R by C. That means out of 14, only two animals are marked. That means out of this 14 individuals, two are recaptured. So this proportion of marked to unmarked individuals will be used to calculate the proportion of individuals in the whole population as I was just now mentioning. 
It is assumed that the proportion of marked animals in the whole population denoted by N is the same as the proportion in the captured animals. So, N is what we will find out. So, N is equivalent to the product of M and C divided by R. So, according to this example, we can see N is equal to 12 into 14 divided by 2 which gives you 84. This method has got an assumption. The assumption is that the marked animals will mix well in the population following release after the first capture and have same or equal chances of being recaptured as any unmarked animal. Now, there are chances when one can overestimate the size of a population or underestimate the size of a population. Now, when can these happen? Say for an example, if the marked animals are very active, they will definitely enter the trap and what will happen? In the recaptured, in the second captured, the number of recaptured animals will be pretty large and this will lead to underestimation of the population size. On contrary, if the animals avoid entering the trap, then what will happen? The number of recaptured animals in the second capture will be very less. This will lead to overestimation of the size of the population. Now, certain points should be kept in mind. The markings should be done with a lot of care. The marking should be such that it is not getting weird off or destroyed or the marks should not lower the survival chances of the animals. Lowering the survival chances means what if the marking is too bold then they then there is a chance that they will get predated by some predators before getting recaptured. So these certain points should be kept in mind. It doesn't really matter if animals die or emigrate from the population between the release and recapture as long as the ratio of marked to unmarked animals leaving is the same as the ratio in the population as a whole. So these certain points if kept in mind will definitely help us in estimating the size of populations made up of smaller mobile individuals. So this is how we come to the end of the lecture. I hope you have enjoyed learning this method. If you have any confusion, any doubt anywhere, please feel free to get back to me in the comment section and I will try my level best to clear your confusion. Thank you so much for your kind attention. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.